CEOs, all CEOs have this attribute. It is lonely at the top. No other position has such pressure than the CEO. In the Wall Street Journal, as well as in local business news, the issue of executive compensation is a hot topic. That the executives are making too much money as compared to the ratio of employees to which are in the organization. But what, a, but what about the pressure? What about the uniqueness of their position? Billions of dollars potentially rest on their decisions alone. And only this position looks at the outside forces that are going on, whether they may be government or regulatory, or which businesses to buy, which businesses to sell, where just about everybody else in the organization look at in, are looking at internal factors. When we look at compensation, we look at athletes and we can look at, at uh, uh, movie stars. They're not, they don't have this kind of pressure. The CEOs need advisors who can help them. They need each other to help them. But in terms of being lonely at the top, what they have to do is to look at other CEOs as, as partners, as advisors. And also, when we look at compensation, and we look at compensation per the stress and to, to, the, to the outcomes that they could derive, these, these executives, for the most part, are well paid, but I think they're fairly paid. But they are lonely. It is a very difficult job. And I would strongly suggest that if you are a CEO, find a partner. Find a set of partners.